Hi guys, evening and welcome back to another one of my YouTube videos. Um, apologies for missing the past couple of weeks, but basically obviously dealing with everything going on in my mind, not the best place, and just like trying to get somewhere with like videos and sort of like brands and stuff. I've been sort of really, really focusing quite hard. And um, hopefully um, something has paid off. Um, so I had a meeting and I don't know how it's obviously gone yet, so I'm just gonna keep it, keep it quiet until I actually hear for a certain obviously um, something good is going to come from it, but basically had a meeting with a really, really cool brand who I've sort of worked with before and I've got quite a few pairs of what this brand does. So hopefully that will become something. So hopefully he's already sort of like smashed out of the park. Um, so that's all I want to say. So yes, he's got somewhere over the past couple of weeks, which is cool. Um, I am going to talk about some boots tonight. These boots, in fact, the old Lighten uh, Chelsea boot from ASOS, which I have talked about before in the past. Um, since I got a new pair of them, I thought why not obviously explain about them if you missed the first pair I got, which is basically the same boot, but two years back down the line. Um, also, I'm going to talk about this little vintage piece I picked up the other day. You might have seen it across on my Instagram this week as well. Um, I took a cool little photo in it and it all like dressed up with a nice sort of bow, um, bow scarf, sort of like a tiny scarf just in like a big bow. So it was going for like the Saint Laurent sort of style outfit look with a nice little black and white polka dot shirt underneath, um, which I'll obviously talk to you about soon. So there's that as well. But on my blog today are the boots. Hopefully on Wednesday, maybe next Sunday, depending on obviously what I'm doing next week, hopefully a lot now. Um, so that this will be on Wednesday or Sunday to buy. So I know obviously the past few posts of mine have been just like vintage things if you want to buy them. Uh, so I thought I'd mix it up, obviously go back to a classic blog post. Like obviously that's what I like to do, just talk about stuff which I have. Um, so yeah, I've just got these boots. If you've not seen these boots before, you've totally missed them. They've been on ASOS for like the past two years. Uh, so I got these boots when they first came out. And it was just the lightning bolt sort of... Um, it's, this is where the elastic is normally on a shoe and normally on an elastic on like a Chelsea boot. It's just your normal U-shape, it's pretty boring, it's pretty standard. But when I saw these ones, so this is the elastic obviously which opens up to put your foot inside the boot because there's no zips. Um, the elastic is in the shape of a lightning bolt, hence the lightning bolt boot. Uh, it's got an awesome, like quite tall Cuban um, heel on the back. Uh, these are quite different to the first boots I got two years ago from ASOS. I think I got more of the more of the tall fitted boots. So there's like the, there was two. I don't know if there's still two online. I'll have to check. Um, but basically, there's a quite a tall boot which has got pretty much the same Cuban heel on the back, but it's just a little bit thinner. And these ones are the slightly wider shaped boots, but pretty much the same. Since I had the tall ones. It's quite nice to go for a different shape of boot. You can't really tell. I mean, some people might not tell. Other people, if you're, if you're good eye with detail, you'll probably be able to tell uh, the wider sort of um, boot shape. And it's still really, really cool. It's still killer. Got these for Christmas. And I wore my other ones pretty much. They were my like everyday shoe. So if I was just going to work, so if I was just going to go out of the house, not really, not really dressing up, but I could go for a pint after work, these would sort of like transition between the two. So yeah, they look cool during the day. They were super comfortable. They were super easy to wear. And then you could go out, you know, a few pints that you go to a nice bar in them as well. And they sort of like just, they went between the two. It was say if I was to go to a nice bar now, I'd probably choose a different pair of shoes. I'd probably choose more of a high-end boot. These, 55 pounds. So you get these 55 quid, and literally they do both things. They do the work, the comfort, the, you can walk forever in these boots and you won't get any sort of like, it's the worst when you get a boot where it's just uncomfortable to wear and you sort of get blisters. These boots are super comfortable and literally, they just like wearing a really nice, comfortable pair of like, dare I say trainers, you would not know you were wearing boots with these. Um, obviously I love a Cuban heel, so yeah, they've got quite a wedge on the back of these boots, but uh, really, really cool, and it gives you that little extra height as well. But yeah, the black leather, as you can see, it's really shiny. These boots are pretty much brand new. I've only worn them, obviously, as you can tell by the bottoms, a few times, but they come in like a nice maroon burgundy finish on the bottom. These, these boots are leather, uh, tops anyway. I think it might be like a rubber sole. Um, but yeah, um, these boots lasted me, the last ones I had two years, and as I say, I pretty much wore them every day. So they're like, for 55 quid, they are pretty much the bargain of the century. Still stocking them on ASOS, two years down the line, 
because I think a lot of people obviously do buy them and they keep on going back to them as well. So yeah, second pair of lighter boots. You can go across to visit my blog. My blog's about these boots, so you get a little bit extra detail. You get to see some photos, how I actually wear the boots. This is quite a hard thing now for me because I always used to tuck my jeans in to my shoes. And like some people think that's the worst thing in the world. And I've sort of grew. So like my style has sort of like changed to what I do with a pair of jeans now. So now, normally, as you can see today, I've got my jeans and I've got my sort of like trousers over the tops. To be honest, sometimes I still like tucking them in, but when I sort of speak to a few different people, everyone's got a little sort of different opinion on how to style the bottom of the jean, either on or over or in the boot. Sometimes it's just like, even different people were saying like around the world, I think it's in America where if they've got a jean, they'll just sort of, they wear it over the top, but then they'll like bunch it up at the front so you can see more of the front of the boot. There's so many different ways, there's so many different opinions. But basically, I used to tuck them in all the time. I have tucked them in just on this blog post for you to see the light and bolt, like elastic, that was the whole point. Um, but I'd say normally when I wear these boots now, it's probably gonna go over the top. The jean, the denim will go over as the, uh, as the quite high sort of boot. Not as high as the boots I've got on at the minute, but they're still quite high. The jean will always go over now. That is my personal opinion. Yes, it's changed. It no longer gets tucked in. Um, but yeah, cool boots. If you've not seen them, if you've not checked out my blog post, um, they've been on the blog before. I think I might even been on YouTube before, but two years ago. So you might be new. You might have missed it the first time. But if you don't know about them, ASOS, 55 quid, killer pair of black ball boots. Right, getting on to this little vintage piece. As I said, um, I did post on Instagram of sort of me, it was sort of just before I went out to shoot it, I was like, oh, I may as well get a nice little classic mirror picture, um, pretty standard, but uh, just like the outfit I absolutely loved. It was very cowboy, it was very American, sort of like obviously Saint Laurent styled. So I wore a black polka dot um, shirt underneath this suede. And it just looks so, so cool. I love black polka dots and then the suede on top. If it's tassel suede, if it's just a normal, cool 70s suede, it just looks always super, super cool. It looks amazing. So yeah, uh, that, was, that was quite good. Black jeans, standard. I would have worn flares, but my flares are sort of seen, the, 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 I think they've passed the prime now. So I really, really desperately need, that's the next thing on the shopping list if I do get a little bit of money soon. Um, because things are very tight. Things are extremely tight at the minute. Um, so yeah, if I get a little bit of money soon, hopefully I'll get a new pair of flares because I wouldn't have minded wearing flares with this sort of outfit to make it like really, really 70s. Um, as I said, I sort of bunched a scarf up, but instead of having it down in my normal way, just over my neck and like down either side, tied it in a nice little ball um, because I had a little bit of inspo from the old centre on catwalk 2016, which is always the best, the best centre on catwalk in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I want to talk about this because this is a piece Hopefully on either Wednesday or Sunday, as I said, I'm going to sell. I've got so many tanned, suede tanned, either bikers or jackets in my wardrobe. Yeah, this one's amazing. Yeah, I absolutely love it. And yes, it looked sick. But I have to, I have to part with it because it's just like, I can't justify having, it will be, this would be like the seventh brown suede in my wardrobe and it's literally pointless. But I love this one. I saw it at Chores and I was like, that is a killer piece. Fell in love with the, just this rounded sort of collar line. It's quite small, but it's just quite a nice little detail to the jacket. It's a really, really nice, like, summery um, suede, so it's not heavy at all. It's quite light, it's quite thin. It's obviously been around for a few years. But it is, as you can see the way it buttons up, a girl's jacket. This might put some people off. Um, personally, I'm not really bothered if it looks cool. No matter what it is, girls, guys, I really don't care. If I can wear it, if it looks good, if I can style it up, who's to say, I'm, I, don't, I don't really care. Um, so yeah, it's just one of those. If you're not bothered, you're not bothered. So yeah, it does button the wrong way for a guy's jacket. Obviously the buttons will be on this side if it was, but I just love it anyway. Like it's, you just, what's wrong with that? You know what I mean? It's just like a brown suede, pretty standard, pretty cool 70s, um, jacket so it's made by a brand called Milan leather that well-known brand everyone knows but yeah it's really really nice to be honest it's a nice uh, it's got a nice sort of like 
obviously brown camely sort of line into it as well. Everything's perfect on it. Suede, even for being around like obviously I want to say 25 plus years, um, it's just it's just nice. Really, really simple on the back. Just your seams all fitted in. It's got a really nice fit to this as well. So I'm small and it just fits me very well. It's a little bit longer, like it's a little bit longer to the jackets I normally wear, but I think that gives it more of a 70s feel. It also has a couple of like hand woman pockets in the front there as well. And it's got these really, really cool rounded sort of like toffee color um, buttons on the front. But yeah, all around cool, killer, pretty just standard, but like nicely detailed jacket, um, especially with the little two, little two pockets in the front there. So yeah, this will be going up hopefully soon. Um, so you've got the boots tonight, you've got this, either the next post after the boots, don't know when I'm gonna put it on. But yeah, that one's for sale. So if you do like it, if you do want it, hopefully you'll have seen a few photos. If not, I'll throw a few photos up on here as well so you can get the general gist. Uh, Cause I think the photos look really, really cool. Um, and I love the styling and just how the jacket sort of looked when I wore it. So you've got that as well. Um, what's coming up in the next couple of weeks? Well, hopefully if things all go well, I might be able, <coughs> pardon me, I'll start that again. I will have just clipped it there because my voice just basically totally broke when I was talking to you. Uh, so I'm saying what's happening in the next couple of weeks. Hopefully I will talk to you all about what the old next project will sort of going to be, hopefully with this brand, if uh, fingers crossed all goes well. Um, I want to talk to you all about that. So it's pretty exciting and it's just sort of like I'm waiting to hear back. It's in that crucial, crucial stage where you're just like you're sitting, you can't really do anything, but it's like, please get back to me. So yeah, I've got that as well. And what am I doing in the next couple of weeks? I am going on a stag do and that is, that's the end of February. So I've got that to look forward to. And basically it was all prepaid. So luckily the flights are paid for the hotel's paid for, so the hotel's paid for. I mean, even though I've got so little money now, I still could have paid for this hotel, because my mate has sorted pretty much the worst hotel out, and it's 20 pounds a night. So hopefully, let's just uh, cross ourselves, hopefully it'll be all right, I don't think it will be. It's gonna be one of those classic, classic stag do. So I am actually really looking forward to it. It's gonna be a good laugh, and over the past few months, I definitely need a good laugh. Yeah, so guys, I've got a few things hopefully planned in the next couple of weeks. I will tell you all about them when they happen and hopefully there'll be a few more YouTube's blog posts because basically I, I feel a little bit better sort of mentally. I think that's what it is. So yeah, he's sort of, uh, he's risen from the ashes as it were. But yeah, thanks guys for checking back in. Go and read the blog post about the lightning bolt, uh, the lightning bolt boots tonight and uh, cheers for watching. See you in a bit. Thank <laughs> you.